In many cases, broadcast networks are isolated from the internet, and there's a ton of good reasons for that, but it's also a problem for people with Skyway controllers when you want to do software upgrades, or more importantly, when you want to get remote support from the Skyway team. There are ways that we can get around that, and I'll show that in this video. So we are looking at right now my blue pill. This blue pill is connected with this Ethernet cable directly to my laptop here. My laptop is not on the internet either. You see, I've disabled the Wi-Fi basically. So we are really isolated right now. No laptop has internet. The blue pill doesn't have internet. And you can see the blue pill doesn't have internet because of this little symbol in the corner. It says disconnected, all right? I even powered the blue pill with USB, uh, micro USB here on the side. So it's possible to do that as well. Although we recommend having a PoE switch with the um, Ethernet connection. Now inside the uh, blue pill on the settings page, you see the IP configuration and it's currently set to static IP. Makes sense, right? Because there's no DHCP server on the network. It has this subnet mask and it has this gateway. Those things wouldn't matter a whole lot, but my MacBook has this configuration as well. For those of you who, uh, I mean, be careful with subnet masks, just make sure that you uh, pay attention to them. In this case, a little bit unusual. We have a, a .10.x uh, network and .11 here. So we have we can have devices on .10 and .11 that can talk to each other. And that's all because of this little value right there. Anyway, that's your local setting and you need to know about that. It's just pure IP configuration stuff, but they can talk together. I mean, this UI is my blue pill operated from the Mac isolated it, no connection to the internet, it can easily be done. But the moment we want the blue pill to connect to the internet to receive upgrades or to connect to our remote support service, if you require that, I suggest that you go to the Wi-Fi section. Because the trick is to use your phone as a Wi-Fi access point that will bring your Skahoy blue pill device on the internet for such work. And basically what you would do is to search on the internet for Wi-Fi networks. We find one here called Four Guys, and that's not the one. So I'll just go to my phone and move into Personal Hotspot. So we should be able to now rescan the network and find Casper's iPhone. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, Casper's iPhone, and then I need to enter in the password. Let me just see if I can successfully do that. Right, and then connects. Okay, so it seems like I could not connect, but actually, I don't know why this sometimes happens because it is connected. So you can risk to see this error message, but in fact, you are connected. It says that I'm connected to it. And if I wasn't and I wanted to be, I could click this one and then it would reconnect. But now the important thing is that you go up here in the corner and you can see this little icon indicates that the blue pill now has routing to the internet. And that means it would be able to, re, uh, to, to make updates, package updates from the internet, but also receive remote support. So yeah, that's what this video was about. But anyway, if you are completely offline and you would uh, prefer to just stay offline, and you can do that with software upgrades, I want to bring your attention to devicesskahoy.com, which is our website that has downloads of all the packages that... Oh, yeah. <laughs> My laptop was not on the internet, right? So let's just re enable Wi-Fi wi here again. Uh, obviously, you can download these packages to your laptop, to your computer, and then you would be able to download them and upload them to your blue pill device when you are on the isolated network. This is devicesskahoy.com. This is where you can find all our device course for download. So if you go here, you can basically browse them by their category and uh, or see, I guess, probably all categories. So there you have them all. If you click in on one of them, you have pre-release download, you have stable download. At th this will download a file to your hard drive, basically. You see it's, it's downloading here. And also, if it's not a device core you're looking for, but it is like Reactor or System Manager or Hardware Manager or Device Connector or SCAROS itself, it's also available for download in different types of versions, even all versions. 
if you want to go back in history. So this is how you can stay safe with Skyhoy products, but still be able to upload them to the latest and greatest software updates.